want to share a story with you. I'm waiting um, to go, but I'm going to share a quick story with you. When I was 16, I went to Metallica concert. I love Metallica. I'm a big fan of Metallica. And um, I'm a rocker. This story I want to share is my personal story because... I don't know, I was watching some Slayer videos, and some, then I started watching some Metallica concerts, and, um, I don't know, it just brings me back to the day that when my sister, my friend, and I, we hitchhiked to the concert from my res, and my res is like two and a half hours from Phoenix, because they were playing in Phoenix at the raceways, and that's like on the avenues. 100 and some, 113th Avenue or something like that. 117, I think is. That's freaking far. I live in the valley now, and I've lived here for 27 years, but I grew up on the res, and, you know, like, during that time, I really wanted to go. I really, really wanted to go. I even sold, no, I didn't sell, but I pawned, both my sister and I, we pawned our, 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 like our outfits that we, we our coming of age ceremony like our traditional I pawned it because I thought that we were gonna I thought I was gonna get it I'm so stupid but I made we made a good amount of money because we pawned our stuff and um, we lost it <laughs> we couldn't get it out how were we gonna get it out my parents were like no we're not gonna take it out because you know you guys took it out your, you pawned it yourself you had no reason no reason to pawn it so we lost that, and that's like a really bad thing that I did. Anyway, back to the story. We went to the, um, stop it, Bobby. We went to the, um, we were, we bought their tickets, and we were going to go to the concert on the weekend, and my friend, she joined us, but she thought we were going to go out, like, on the, like, like, go out for the, the weekend on the res, but... It just wasn't adding up. I mean, I didn't want to go on the rest. I want to go to the concert. So I told you, you want to come. We'll buy you a ticket. And we, you know, she brought a whole bunch of stuff like clothes and like extra stuff that we can change into. I mean, she bought like she went all out. You know, she did the most. And then anyway, um, we went to the concert. Well, as we were going, there was a bunch of people from the res that were going, and this guy, you know, he um. He said, oh, you know, you guys can come with us if you have your tickets. And I'm going to jump in. He had a little truck. And he had these big old rims and tires on there. Where I thought we were just going with him by ourselves and, and his friend or whatever. But he had other guys that were going with him. And so when we all jumped in, like, the tires were rubbing. So we didn't even go that far. We went about probably, like, nine miles. And it wouldn't go because it was burning as it was rubbing. And, um, um... He pulls over at the gas station on the res, and he's like, oh, you guys have to get off because, you know, my tires are rubbing. I can't take you guys. I was like, son of a... Oh, I was so upset. We got off, and we were trying to think how we are going to go, so we called a friend of ours. I called my cousin, and we asked her if she'd be able to take us, and she's like, we're like, we'll give you 60 bucks. She took us all the way to AJ, which is like an hour drive from our, our res. And she took us all the way over there. And we got over there. We got off. And then it, we were still like an hour away from from the avenues. And, um, you know, we were hitchhiking. And my friend somehow got alcohol. And we were walking with the alcohol in her bag. And her and my sister were drinking it. I didn't want to drink it because I don't like alcohol. I didn't, I just never liked um, booze, you know, like, I just never liked that. I never, I just, that's just not me. I'm just not into that. I mean, yeah, I'm like, don't get me wrong. I did have, I did go out and I did do some of those things during high school and I was still in high school. And, but I, I did, I wanted, I'd rather do other things, you know, like, I'm not even going to tell you, but there's other things I'd rather do besides, you know, do that anyway back to the story we took off and this we're hitchhiking on a freeway and the guy 
a guy stopped in a truck on the freeway. And he, we jumped in in the back of his truck. And we just laid there because we were so hot. We were so tired. And the guy opens the window and he's like, what are you guys doing? Where, where, you, guys, where are you girls from? You shouldn't be hitching on the freeway. It's not sport. You know, it's against the law to hitch on the freeway. Like, oh, okay. We're like, we told him we were going. We thought he was going to take us. And um, he dropped these. I can't go that far. I'm dropping guys in Tempe. So, we're like, okay, where's Tempe? You know, when, you know, I was on the way. And so we kept, you know, we got off the car and we got off in Tempe. And then he, um, then we got off at some store and at this point mind you i've never really been to the valley you know like so um we got to the to a store like a convenience store or something there's these black guys over there and they're like where are you guys going you know we're like oh we're trying to get to this concert oh sorry anyway they're like we're trying to, we're trying to get to this concert you know so we told them, they're like, yeah, we can give you a ride, you know. So they gave us a ride to Phoenix. And when we got to Phoenix, before we got there, these guys were tripping or something. But they're like, we're like young. We're like young girls, you know. Like, and I don't know, college guys maybe. But they're like, you know, they're like opening up the glow, glow box. And they're like, show us there's a gun in there. And they're like, you guys trying to think, you know, we have this. And I'm like. Uh, I'll get off right here. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'll get off right here. And it was somewhere in Phoenix, you know, like an Indian school or something like that. And so we got off, and I was lucky we got off. Who knows what they would have did. Mind you, 16 and 17, you know, we're not that old. We're just kids. And so we tried to call my, my cousin, and we couldn't find him. And because I lost the phone number, so we couldn't find him. Anyway, back to the story. The guy... Uh, some native guy picked us up, like, my friend, like, she worked her charm, and he gave us a ride, and he had, like, all kinds of, like, um, money, you know, and, and she, he's, like, she told him, you know, what we were doing, and, like, I don't know, she told him something, but he's, like, yeah, I'll take you guys, I want to go, too, you know, I'll buy, I want to buy a ticket, and he had a car, he said, did you guys eat yet? We're, like, no, and he took us to McDonald's, and at this point, I didn't care to eat, I just wanted to get to the concert. We got to the concert. Well, we took him, and at this point, my friend, she's 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 kind of getting lit, you know, her and my sister, and and at this point, I was like, oh. I my main thing, my main itinerary for the night is to get to the concert, you know, and stop it, Bobby. And then anyway, um, we um we were getting to the concert, and actually, we were in Phoenix somewhere. And then he's like, let me get Bobby off. Bobby, get off. Go on. He's crying. Get off. Stupid dog. Anyway, I'm um, sorry. It's probably getting y'all dizzy. But anyway, so we were like, um, I don't know. Um, at this point, we started out like at 5 in the evening. And at, my mom and dad didn't know. Nobody knew. Our parents thought we were staying at each other's house, you know, and and um my mom didn't know so at this point we were in phoenix not knowing where the hell we're at and this guy the native guy she made him buy, buy us all kind of food and water and like we were cool with that you know we we're like all right you know and um we, he actually took us to the concert. We got to the concert. Oh, we got to the concert. Like, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm going to I wanna get a ticket at the at the gate or something, you know. We're like, okay. And I thought my friend was going to buy a ticket, too. And, so, and I lost her. Right when we got off, like, everybody, there were so many people there. It was like 8 o'clock at night, you know. And I heard um, a band on. It wasn't Metallica. I don't know. I think it was Guns N' Roses. And anyway, they were playing. And I was like, let's go. And my sister was like, I got the tickets. You know? And we, we were like, we'll meet you guys at the gate. You know, we already got our ticket. You know, and So we were like at the gate. We we're waiting for them. And my sister's like, 
let's go, Metallica's on, you know, so we went in there, and we, like, we had general admission tickets, and at the time, they were only, like, I don't know, 40 bucks or something like that, and, um, we got to the, to, like, the floor, you know, like, the dirt part on the floor, and somehow, we meet, my sister and I, we made it all the way to the front, actually, to the stage, it was awesome, I was so happy, and, I even got a stick, you know, and they like threw out all these ribbons with the, the snake on it, black ribbons with the snake on it, and I was just, that was before they came on, and then he threw out some of his, um, like, sticks, you know, for the, the drums and stuff like that, and it was, like, amazing, that was, like, one of the, that's, like, I, I couldn't even, I was so overwhelmed. But, and I was so tired at the point. I was so tired. Okay, so the we got to see the whole concert. Well, not the whole concert, but the end of Guns N' Roses and all of Metallica. And then we couldn't find my friend or we couldn't find the guy that brought us. So she was gone. The guy was gone. Like, and we, at this point, we didn't have phones. So we got, and somehow, I met up with these guys was some guys from cells in the crowd and we're like walking out and they seen us walking out so they're like hey where are you guys going where are you guys from and we're like um from san carlos you know and we're like yeah we're, we're heading back you know we're trying to go back and they're like and at this point i had no idea how we we're gonna get back it was like 1 30 in the, at night and it was like late as hell hold on Anyway, um, I have to tell my baby I'm okay. Anyway, um, we were just like, you know, tired. <laughs> I was, wasn't even afraid. I was like, how am I going to get home? You know, like, anyway, so we got to, the, these guys said they would give us a ride, you know, like, because they're going back to cells. They're from cells and they said they can give us right all the way back so I was like oh cool you know like as long as they get back before Sunday and it was like that was a Friday Friday night so we had all day Saturday to try to get back I didn't know where my friend was at and I couldn't get a hold of her I was scared and I was it was it was kind of getting crazy after that you know because we got one of these guys and they took us somewhere in Tempe to somebody's house and I'm like Oh my God, we can't do this, you know. So I told my sister, I said, let's go. Because I don't know who these guys are. Let's go. Let's get out of here. You know, they were, I don't know what they were trying to do, but we left. We walked off. And we made it to, like, I want to say Southern. There was a gas station there. I don't, I can't recall what kind of gas station. But there was this guy, a white guy. He was driving by himself, and he seen us, and he was like, are you girls okay? We're like, yeah, we're trying to get back to Glow. And he's like, Glow? We didn't tell him anything about us. We just said we're going to Glow. And that's like 20 miles from, or 30 miles from where the rest is at. Anyway, we got there and, well, he said, I can give you guys a ride. Not knowing that there's weirdos out there. And I am, um, we, we jumped in with him. And my sister and I, it's crazy because we fell asleep the whole way down there. He took us all the way back to San Carlos. Not knowing that he could kill us or do something else to us. But thankfully we got back safe. And I was like, I don't know, it was crazy. But that was like the best, one of the best times in my life. And it was so nice and but believe me, I would never let my, I have three daughters, I would never let them do that, ever. I mean, now they're grown, they're women now, but that was one of the best times of my life, I mean. We all got back home, my friend got back, she came back the next day with some guys in a lowrider, Mexican guys, and she, it was nuts, and her mom was mad because her mom came to my house. My mom said, oh, I thought she was with you guys, you know. I thought she was staying at your house. I thought they were spending a night there. It was a big old mess, and so I got in trouble, 
and she got in trouble because she got dropped off at my house. And my sister, she asked us to take her back. We took her back. Um, it was bad, but you know what? Those were high school days. Those are crazy days for us, and you know we can live to tell about it. Thank God. But that was my story. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. I'll give you guys some more stories, some more crazy stories like that. Um, later. Not right now, but I'm going to go, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. It was really crazy back then, but I, I love Metallica. Rock on.